Check, check. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Go got them kicks. Thank y'all so much for logging back into the channel. However you came across this video, I greatly appreciate it. If this is your first time on this channel, please subscribe to this channel. Subscribe. I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers. About to hit 500, so you could be my 500 subscriber. Please subscribe if you're new. Like this video and comment. I'm a sneaker channel. I bring sneaker reviews to y'all. Sneakers that I'm interested in. Not always was hype with everybody on sneaker YouTube is talking about. I try to bring a different aspect to the game. If you are a returning subscriber, I greatly appreciate you. Please comment down below and like this video. So today, I'm talking about a very important topic. Something that people wonder every Saturday or whenever there's a big sneaker drop and I just see so many things on social media and so many people that hit me up talking about how they can hit on a sneakers app. How do you hit on a sneakers app? Now, I've pretty much figured out what's work, what works for me. But before I'll tell you about that, make sure y'all please follow me on all social networks at DJ Go Get em. That's Instagram, Twitter, whatever else. DJ Go Get em. That's where I let you know that I'm dropping videos, outfit pics, sneaker news, all of that. So make sure y'all follow me on those outlets. Almost forgot. So back to the topic at hand. And I've seen countless, countless videos about how to hit on sneakers app. Now, let me just first say there's no guaranteed method to hitting on the sneakers app. But there's been many things that I have done to make increase my chances on hitting on the sneakers app. If it's a shoe that I know I really, really want, I know I'm going to hit on it because I'm going to do the groundwork first. OK, so we're going to talk about it a little bit. First, let's talk about some of the myths, some of the things that thousands of people on sneaker YouTube are saying, oh, you got to do this to hit on uh, sneakers. You got to do that. Let's talk about the myths, okay? One of them is, oh, uh, Nike likes to see your uh, liking videos, sharing content, watching videos, screenshotting and sharing it. People say, oh, if you do that, then you'll hit on Sneakers app. It's not true. It's simply not true. Now, I know y'all are sitting here like, why should I listen to him about how to hit on the Sneakers app? You want to know why? I get the sneakers that I want to get. I get the sneakers I want to get. All sneakers out. Came out. I'm not going to do a uh, review on these, but they just pulled up. This is all sneakers out. So I know what I'm talking about. So you can, I mean, you cannot listen if you don't want to. That's cool. But if you want to be hitting on joints like this, then I suggest you listen. So let's go back to the point that you have to like videos all the time you got to be on the app for like an hour a day to to hit it's not true at all you know why on these shoes that i hit this weekend it was a brand new account and i never once watched the video on that account never once liked anything on account i literally made that account saturday morning and hit on these shoes for the first time on that account so that just kills that whole lie right there second now, there's two different types of drops that are on the sneakers app. You either have a Leo drop and you have a draw. Now, more recently, uh, Nike's been trying to combat bots. So they've been having a lot of draws hey, yo. lately for, you know, hype sneakers. But you have a Leo drop. Leo drop, usually you have to get your entry in in like two or three minutes. Maybe I'm, I'm going to say about two minutes and usually about four minutes to five minutes after that is when you get notified if you took the l or if you won okay that's a leo drop very quick that's how that happens then you have a draw for a draw you have about 10 minutes to get i believe it's 10 minutes it's eight minutes i think it's 10 minutes you have about 10 minutes to enter into the raffle because honestly a leo or a draw they're both raffles so with the draw you have 10 minutes and to enter into the raffle to get your shoes for years people have been um trying to be the first one 
you know, at 10 o'clock, because I'm here on the East Coast, so at 10 o'clock when the shoes come out, they try to be the first one to enter. Don't do that for either one, especially since Nike is trying to combat bots. Bots are fast. So if you're fast like a bot, Nike's most likely going to think you're a bot, and you probably most likely won't hit. So that may used to happen before back in the day on the sneakers app that you could put it in first and get it. It's not like that anymore. Everything is a raffle. Okay. Let it breathe a little bit. Let it breathe. Now for Leo, you know, try to get it in that first minute, but don't always try to be that first person because you're not, that's not guaranteeing you a shoe. For a draw, I personally like to wait at least two minutes before I put in my rap, my, uh, my entry for that shoe. At least two minutes. Okay. So that's just the two different types of uh, raffles that are on sneakers app. The second thing, and probably the most important thing about the sneakers app is you have to figure out your algorithm. You have to figure out your algorithm. Everybody's algorithm is different, okay? So me, personally, on, my, on one of my accounts, and we'll talk about that as well, on one of my accounts, probably my most used account, Stuff that, you know, and I, I do watch videos and things, just things that interest me. I don't do it to hit a shoe because that's not guaranteed, like I said. So if you want to hit on a shoe that you really, really want, you have to put in for other shoes, okay? So say you want, say you want these Hyper Royals, right? You can't just have the sneakers app and this be the only shoe that you go for, okay? You understand what I'm saying? You can't every once in a blue moon try to hit on a special release that's not going to work okay so if you specifically want a shoe like this try to hit on other shoes try to hit on hirachis try to hit on dunks try to hit on other shoes why because granted you might not get the shoe but i do feel that the sneakers app does log when you try to go for a shoe and i personally every six shoe that i go for i pretty much hit that's something that i figured out so try to go for other shoes than just the ones that you really want. What's the worst that can happen? You can win the shoe, you can sell it, and then you can just buy the shoe that you really want. So go for more than just the shoe you want. Go Every week, sneakers is dropping stuff. Every week, go for the shoes. Any shoe. That does increase your chances. Second thing, and another very, very important step, you must have multiple accounts especially for these draws and things like that. Like I said, the draw, the Leo, whatever the drop is, it's a raffle. The more tickets you have in the raffle, the better your chance to win. So I have three accounts. Now, in order to have another account, you have to have another email address and you have to have another telephone number. So I have my personal number as one account. I have my work number as, an, uh, as another account. And I have my boy's number for my iPad, that's another account. You have to have multiple accounts. So for this past weekend, these came out, okay? I staggered uh, I staggered the time I put in for each account. So my iPad was the first one I did two minutes. That's the one I hit these on, was my iPad. And then, actually only, only hit with, only tried with two accounts for this past weekend. So it was my iPad and my phone. My phone didn't win. The one that I watched the videos on, the one I like stuff, that didn't win. But this one that I just created on Saturday, hit, hit. And it is proof right here. You see the picture right here. I made an account. I stuck my tongue out on the, uh, on the profile picture. Like, that's just what it was. So you have to have multiple accounts. Very important. Another important aspect of that, you have to have different credit cards. So... I personally have Apple Pay and I have about five cards on my Apple Pay and that is different, you know, different cards on that. I tried to hit with a different card on this one and then on, on my phone and I hit on this one. So you have to have multiple cards as well. Now, another myth that people say, oh, you can't, you got to have multiple addresses. Not true at all. Not true at all. Both of these accounts have the same address and I mean mailing address. You need a new email address, and of course, you have to have a new number for a different account, but you can have, you can have the same mailing address. I have three accounts, all with the same mailing address, address and I've hit on all of the accounts. Um, the whole Wi-Fi uh, LTE thing, 
it's good to have like so my ipad i had on the wi-fi on my phone i tried with the you know the verizon network so try to also not be on the same wi-fi to, as, as well that does help something that i like to do and i'm not too sure if this works but just thinking as a businessman okay offer nike more money offer nike more money and i'm not too sure if this works but think about it logically if somebody offered you one amount of money other person um offered you more which one are you going to take more right so something i do on shoes that i that i've hit on is i always try to do at least the two-day shipping any type of expedited shipping you're offering nike more money I kind of think that Nike looks at that and says, okay, we're going to take the higher price. Granted, they're a billion dollar company. Those couple of dollars don't matter, but it's just something that I do. The biggest takeaways from this video, learn your algorithm. How often does it take for you to hit on shoes? For me, it's about five or six tries on a sneaker to hit on the shoes I want. Patience, gotta have patience. You're not always going to hit on every shoe. That's just, that's just a fact. If you if you are, you probably need to play the lottery because you don't hit on every shoe. You must have multiple accounts. You got to have multiple accounts, people. It's very important. At least three. OK, at least three with different credit cards. I highly suggest using Apple Pay, different email addresses, of course, but you can have the same mailing address. OK, um, yeah, and just, just learning your algorithm, learning how the sneakers app works for you. That's what I've done. I hit on the shoes that I want to hit on. Granted, I don't hit on everything, but I constantly try at different sneakers. And it might not even be a shoe that I want, but if you get it, you can sell it. And that's just what it is. So those are just some of my suggestions on how you can hit on the sneakers app in 2021 not gonna do a review on these shoes because y'all have seen these a million times but just know that your boy knows what he's doing when he's getting these sneakers man i know what i'm doing so take these things to heart figure out your algorithm and you too can be successful on the sneakers app but that's all i got for y'all once again make sure y'all follow me on all social networks at dj go get them subscribe 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 to the channel if you love sneakers and i know you do because you sat here and watched this video you you clicked on my video obviously you love sneakers so please subscribe to the channel your boy go got him kicks go and we are go, go. 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 Go.